Welcome to our YouTube video, in which we're going to be discussing the UK government's pledges on reducing greenhouse gas emissions from farming and land use. According to the analysis done by the World Wildlife Fund, the total projected emissions reduction from now until 2037 for agriculture and land use are 58% less than the emissions reduction figure promised by the original government net zero strategy. That's equivalent to the emissions of the whole UK building sector. So what has the government promised to do to reduce emissions? After Brexit, UK farmers were promised to be paid for the amount of land they were in charge of through environment land management schemes. But these planned emission reductions from now to 2037 are now 38% lower than under the original net zero strategy. New planting rates of trees are also currently only half of what is needed to adhere to the targets of the net zero strategy. And the projected emission benefits from peatland restoration are 80% lower than the original promise. These commitments from the government fall woefully short of their original plans and campaigners have argued that this lack of ambition will not only impede efforts to reach net zero, but also jeopardize the protection of wildlife and biodiversity. Independent climate and land expert Matt Williams, who analyzed the figures, has said that the government are putting farming and nature even lower down the pecking order in its climate plan. He went on to say that this will make hitting the target of net zero harder, leave farmers more exposed to overexposure to climate impacts, and undermine Britain's food security. WWF Director Angela Francis has argued that the government have knowingly settled for lack of ambition and that we need proper investment to support farmers to transition to regenerative farming and meaningful action to support sustainable diets. It is clear that more needs to be done to protect our land and wildlife and also curb the unbearable damage to our environment. The Department for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs has been contacted for comment, and we must wait for their response before real changes can be seen. Ultimately, the discussion around this issue is far from over and the government must do more to create the peaceful, ecologically sound world that we all desire. Thank you for watching our video and remember to subscribe for more information and updates on this story.